Welcome to this week's Sacramento Observer. Locals came out this past weekend to show their love for an annual event that raises money for local women's organizations' efforts to aid the community in the areas of health, education, and economic empowerment. The 26th annual Sweet Potato Festival was hosted on Valentine's Day by the Sacramento Valley Section of the National Council of Negro Women. The group hosts the annual event in keeping with their founder, Mary McLeod Bethune's legacy. Miss Bethune sold sweet potato pies in the early 1900s to raise money for her school for black girls. As a part of its Black History Month offerings, members of the California Legislative Black Caucus hosted a special screening of the documentary Forgotten Four, Integration of Pro Football at the Crest Theater last week. The documentary tells the little-known story of four brave African-American men, Kenny Washington, Woody Strode, Marion Hotley, and Bill Willis, who broke the color barrier in pro football in 1946. She may be retired, but health still matters to local doctor Sherry Mitchell James. Dr. Mitchell James, a former pediatrician with Kaiser Permanente, was recently recognized as the Sacramento Kings Dream Big All-Star recipient. The award was presented during the team's Black History Month celebration at Sleep Train Arena right before the NBA All-Star break. Dr. Mitchell dreamt big in 2012 when she co-founded Scrumped, the first lunchbox home delivery service to provide ingredients needed to make a healthy and easy to assemble lunch for children. Educational experts teamed up with local families recently to share research and best practices aimed at improving academic success for area students. The Parents Making a Difference sessions were held at Laguna Creek High School throughout January and February. Topics of discussion included Achievement Gap, Common Core, School Discipline, and College Preparedness. Local senior Ruby Lee Graves marked her 100th birthday last week with a turn-of-the-century celebration. Family and friends turned up to show their love and appreciation for their matriarch. Ruby Lee Graves, who lives in Elk Grove, has 10 surviving children, 65 grandchildren, 181 great-grandchildren, 121 great-grandchildren, and two great-great-great-grandchildren. You'll find all these stories and more in this week's Sacramento Observer. To find out how you can subscribe, simply give us a call or visit us online at sacobserver.com.